What is Glamour Squad? Glamour Squad is just a day for some teenage girls in the hospital to get spa treatments and be treated like celebrities. And so it all comes to them. It all comes to them. Yeah, it's cool because we can localize it, you know, to different cities and get volunteers from that city. That's so awesome. The Aveda Institute's been really great. Aveda? Aveda, Mm -hmm. yeah. And they send a bunch of their students to volunteer their time and bring all their own stuff, you know, so they're licensed. (laughs) Yeah, so what? It's not just me doing it. I like to ask the girls when they're getting, you know, manicures and pedicures and facials and their hair done. And I always want to know what their favorite part is. So maybe Mm, I am Seeing other different girls getting, you know, having makeup. Up, getting a chance to like make them seeing other girls get it is her favorite part well, right that's, that's what cool. i was gonna say i normally ask them what their favorite thing they got to do that day yeah. is and it's always like oh the hair they love yeah. getting their hair done but for her she just she was just enjoying that's why she was crying that's she was watching favorite. other girls uh-huh. this isn't a normal day getting spa treatments in the hospital so i ask her what a normal day is like for her what's a normal day like like what do you mean no like yesterday it was a typical difficult time for me because they unexpectedly told me i was gonna get surgery they just what yeah so she was just in the hospital already not feeling good and they came in and they had to do emergency surgery oh and remove her appendix i believe and oh do some gosh. other stuff so she's in a robe hooked up to ivs when she's in there oh my gosh they had me on my bed and they just told me okay we're ready to get you to have surgery it was actually kind of difficult difficult for me because it was my first time to get surgery i was like very like and you were already in the hospital? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was like crying, crying, because you know, like it's hard to like to tell you unexpectedly. That's why like I try to like make myself strong, you know, yes. like not to worry about it. You know, kids love surprises, but maybe not that one. Like, hey, <laughs> right. we're, you know, we're wheeling you down to the OR. That's what's cool about this, though, because some of them know what they're coming in for. They've been at school and they're feeling OK and they know that I'm coming to bring all these volunteers to do a spa day. But some of them have been you know, in the hospital and had surgery and she had no idea. So the nurses just went up to the room and got her and brought her down. So it was really kind of a pleasant surprise for her. So she had a bad surprise followed by a really good one with the Glamour Squad. It's always interesting to see the moms that are just best friends with their kid. And so I met this mom. She would not leave her daughter's side and her daughter's lost all her hair. Sometimes these sick kids are happier than healthy kids and I don't understand how they do it so I ask her if her daughter like what happens in the bad moments. She has her moments where she has her her pity time. You what know, does she do then? Cries you know questions why is it happening to me am I gonna die is it you know the big that's the big question you know is this gonna haunt me for the rest of my life you she know. She vocalized that to you? Oh yeah when we were in the hospital when she was in ICU it was it was really bad we almost lost her twice. But she's like I'm still here so <laughs> she does that and then you know I tell her I said you you know, I said, we're allowed to have our, you know, feel sorry days, we call them. And I said, but then you just pick yourself up and you go. You know, I said, I have them too. Just having those words come out of your kid's mouth, am I going I know, to die? Am I going to die? Oh, yeah. And we, I think we make this mistake on the kids' kids' trip. We somehow just assume that these parents are well equipped to deal with this, like they were trained for or whatever. Right, They're not. Right. They, thrown in. they went into an office with a doctor and received the news that no parent ever wants to hear. Yeah. And, and, and then they have to modify and they have to adapt and... To see him do it is like the second biggest miracle of this whole thing, you know? So cool. Glamour Squad, San Antonio. Let's thank that hospital. Who helped us out there? Yeah, it was the Santa Rosa Children's Hospital. 